to play Minecraft way back in the early days, some of my biggest builds weren't castles, wasn't trying my best to create insane bases or anything like that. I wanted to create convenience stores and supermarkets. Now, I know that sounds really strange, and to be honest with you, it was quite strange, but before I knew how to build redstone and things, I found building real life buildings in Minecraft really interesting. So I built stuff like that. So let me know down in the comment section if you think I'm really boring, but I thought I would revisit this trend a couple years down the line with my extra redstone expertise, and we can fill in one of these little fellas with a bunch of redstone contraptions. Now this right here is a convenience store that I've just constructed. By the look of things, we actually have a few customers that have spawned on the inside of here, but this is it. This is my super simple convenience store that I've literally just built. And I have to say, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, we've got all of the iron blocks going around the outside. We've got the standard convenience store look, but it could definitely get a lot more fancy with a ton of redstone. Now, just a quick thing. If you want to just download the convenience store without all of the redstone contraptions so that you can build the redstone contraptions along with me, then there'll be a link to that one down in the description. Or if you want to build this thing, then obviously we've got four by three windows. We've got the three by two door in the center. And this is the outer band going around the outside. Now this wall right here is 13 blocks long and the back is just a big shell. To be honest with you, there's not too much detail on the outer edges. We literally have this front area right here. Now if we pop inside, we've got a few bookshelves. Obviously that's for shelves of various different groceries and things. And then we have a wall going through the center. They sat back from the windows. One, two, three, four, five blocks, just like that. We've got a counter right there. This is going to be the storage room, which we seem to be storing some creepers. And then we're also going to build a bathroom over in this section right here. So hopefully that just about covers it. Now let's start placing in all of the redstone. Now I'm sure you'll all agree that every convenience store needs automatic doors. I don't think I've ever been to a convenience store that doesn't have automatic doors that open for you. So let's just place in two sets of sticky pistons like this. Then we're going to have glass on the face of both of those and then some glass going across the top like this. Then down underneath that we're going to start placing in all of the redstone. And the way that we're going to do that is by knocking out a small area out the back right here, just underneath all of our pistons, just like this. Then we're going to create a three by two area of redstone and then redstone running across like this and redstone running across like that with a redstone torch up on both sides and then a block right there, redstone dust and a redstone torch with block and then a redstone dust. Then all we have to do is place in all of the blocks that we have removed, just quickly chuck in all of those, make sure that you cover up all of the redstone and everything like that. And then on top of these blocks, we're going to place in some pressure plates. So when you stand on the pressure plates, obviously our doors will open up. And when we stand off the pressure plates, the doors will close behind us. Very nice and easy. Super simple start to today's convenience build. Next up on the to-do list, I want to create myself a vending machine because there are always vending machines on the outside of these convenience stores. So the first thing I've done is I've gone off to the right hand side of our build and I've created a five block wide by five blocks across by four blocks deep hole just underneath right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the cache entry system. So you wanna place a couple blocks going across like this with a dropper running in like that. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four blocks down like that if I can just about manage it and place hoppers running down into that block right there. Then I'm going to place another three blocks right there with hoppers running across like this. That is going to act as our item filter. As far as the redstone is concerned, we're going to take a comparator output from the middle hopper right there with redstone going across like this. Then we're going to place in a repeater, some more redstone down on the floor right there, a redstone torch on the side of that block just like this. And then we're also going to run that redstone up and across in a bunch of half slabs with redstone dust on top there, a block up like this, and then a dropper facing upwards right there, which is going to be where our snacks are going to be stored. So essentially you're going to place in a diamond or some form of payment in here, then we're going to hit a button on the back of the dropper to send the payment through into the hoppers. It's going to go down through the system, be filtered out, and if it is the correct payment method, then we'll get ourselves a snack through the system. So the redstone is done, now we have to do all of the decorative bits. First things first, we've got to place in a chest here and a chest right there that's going to store all of the diamonds and that's going to store all of the junk items that get thrown into the system, which is pretty nice. And then on this one right here, we're going to place in a bunch of diamonds going across like this and then a bunch of diamonds up at the front. And as you can see, once this goes down to 18, it will stop. 
Now what that means is, is this is a diamond filter. As soon as anyone places a diamond in here, it will drop right the way down to this bottom chest. But if it's not a diamond, it will go through into that chest. So that all seems to be working fine. And now we can cover all of this up with brass, just like that. But before we do, obviously, we need to fill in this dropper with whatever treat you want. I'm going to be using cookies because I think that's probably a pretty good vending machine snack. But anyway, now it is time to do the decoration for the vending machine itself. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be very creative here. You guys can go crazy with this one. But that is what my vending machine is looking like. And let's give it a test. That we'll place in a diamond. We'll hit this button right here. And we should see we've got ourselves a cookie. It comes out of the floor, but that's good enough for me. And now onto the inside with the bathroom. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a locking door. Locking doors are very easy to build in Minecraft. All I have to do is place a lever right here. And there we go. The door is now locked. We can say that the toilet is now occupied. And if you really want to be fancy, you can place in a redstone lamp down at the bottom here, which will notify people from the outside. Hey, this toilet is in use. Don't come inside here because I'm probably doing some private business. Anyway, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a little section to this area right here, just making its way around like this. Now this is going to make way for the circuitry for our sink system. So we're going to place in a couple going across like this. That is going to be the counter for our sink. And we're also going to have a dispenser up at the top right here, which is going to be our tap. So you need to place a water bucket on the inside. To actually get our sink mechanism to work in this tiny little space right here, we're going to have to use some 1.11 magic involving the observer block. I'm just going to place in a repeater, then a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on its face, and then a repeater set to three ticks with an observer facing upwards, just like that, and a redstone dot on top. And that is it. That is all the circuitry in. Now if we refill all of these blocks right here, I have just realized you can't have a stair as this block because if we hit this button, it's not actually going to power the blocks. You need to replace that stair with a solid object, a bit like this, but then replace the button on the top. And as you can see, we have got ourselves a working tap. Now it does sort of fall from the sky, just a tiny bit. Uh, it's one of those like fancy taps where, you know, it gushes down from the ceiling. I think it looks cool though. It seems to work quite nicely. I'm going to be honest, guys, I wasn't originally planning on doing this, but I've just thought of a new way to create an automatic toilet flushing system, and I think it's pretty genius. So what we need to do is we're placing in our cauldron. That is our loo right there. And yeah, I've just I've just jumped straight into that toilet. <laughs> let's just completely ignore that. And let's place in a sticky piston facing downwards with a redstone block on its face. And then we're going to have a hopper down at the bottom here, which can run into anything. If anything, it can run into this dropper, and that means you automatically dispense out all of your waste. But now up at the top here, we're going to have ourselves another dropper. We're going to fill that in with all of the toilet paper, and this button right here is going to be our automatic flushing and also toilet paper dispenser circuit, or at least in theory. I think that's how it's going to work. As a bit of a finishing touch, I'm going to remove two layers from the cauldron. So now it's looking a tiny bit less full. And let's give this a go. So whoop, there it is. Our brick is in the loo. Now nobody wants to be seeing that. So when we hit this button right here, you can see we got ourselves some toilet paper. And also the toilet flushes. It's perfect. It works wonderfully. This is my new favorite redstone contraption. Now I'm rather embarrassed to admit that this next redstone contraption took me a very long time to design because I wanted it to be perfect and I wanted it to fit within the space. I did all sorts of bits and pieces. What I wanted to do is create a card reader system to allow you to get into the storeroom because of course you don't want any old chap just walking into the storeroom and stealing everything in here. You need to be like a member of staff. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this dropper and hopper combination. We're then going to run a comparator up into these blocks right here and then run a repeater with redstone running into this block right here and underneath the hopper you're going to need to place in a redstone torch and that's it. That is the entire system created. Now all we have to do is place the cards inside this hopper right here and chuck in our iron door and that's everything completed. It's very smart and simple. So I've used this anvil right here to rename all of my items to super secret pass. So I'm going to be having a super secret pass to be able to get into the storeroom and then I just have to do that business, which you saw earlier on with the vending machine. And that should filter down to 18. Then we can take all of those out of the dropper right here, place a wooden button on the back side, then grab ourselves an iron door. And as you can see, if we hit the button right now, nothing will happen. The door doesn't open, but if we place in a super secret pass, 
Ta-da! We have got access into the storage room, and of course, if you place in any other type of item, absolutely nothing happens. You have to have the super secret pass to be able to get through into the storage room. So now it's time to fill it. And of course, I've decided to fill this place with shulker boxes. Now, one thing that I have just realized is that we haven't given you a way to get out of the storage room, so just place down a button and you can travel on through. That's absolutely fine. And make sure that you don't leave your super secret pass inside the dropper right here, because otherwise anyone can gain access. Anyway, aside from all of that, the next thing that we're going to create is we're going to make an alarm system. Because of course, if we're getting burgled or robbed or anything like that, we need to have some form of security to make sure that we can set off an alarm system. So let's pop down underneath and we're going to take the redstone output from that button press right there. And we're going to run it across into a T flip flop that we're going to create, which will then go into a really fast redstone clock that will trigger a bunch of note blocks. So we're going to place a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top, then a repeater with a sticky piston running across in this direction right here, just like that. And that redstone block is then going to run across into this comparator, which is going to be running back round into itself, just like that. Now that we have a little bit more space to work with, I'm going to take the redstone output from this and run it around into this note block right here. And we can choose whatever note we really want to, but make sure there's no block underneath so that we get the proper notes like this. Now I'm going to go really high pitch just to make it super annoying, but now we can trigger our alarm like that. That sounds pretty good. And then if we want to turn it off, just hit that button right there and that will switch off the alarm. But also I feel like we need some extra security. So I'm going to create a speed armor equipping session right underneath the counter. Now this is going to be a one use sort of thing, but I think it's going to work absolutely perfectly. So we place in a dispenser facing upwards right there, and then we're going to run a repeater output from this redstone. We're going to run it across like this and just make sure that it doesn't go back past that sticky piston. So it needs to go up like that and into this block right here. So let's just quickly take out a few blocks and there we go. That is it, that is all of the circuitry. So now we just need to place in a bunch of items inside this dispenser cover up this hole here and as you can see when we hit the button to trigger the alarm we're fully equipped fully equipped in diamond armor straight away so if someone is asking to steal money or something like that on this side of the counter we hit that button alarm kicks off and we're fully equipped in diamond armor straight away now i personally think that's pretty awesome i'm gonna head outside the convenience store to get away from the horrendous noise because that is working perfectly but unfortunately ladies and gentlemen that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.